Hello, James here, and I'd like to update you guys on the Nissan Leaf 40 and Rapidgate and what's been happening in the last couple of weeks. So, before the new year, the Electric Swede from YouTube made a video about the Le his Leaf, which is a newer one, newer as in he bought it in November, I think, and he saw that the charging satellite speed on higher temperature was different from what myself had documented and what um, Beyond Tesla had tested also. So he was getting a different result. And then last week, Beyond did a really intense test with a newer Nissan Leaf also that he borrowed and found the same as what the electric Swede had been getting on his car. So that's really good news because it seems to be a firmware upgrade to the vehicle to change the BMS to charge quicker at higher temperatures and you know with with that in mind what about the rest of us the the customers that have bought the cars before the upgrade or the update of the firmware but the funny thing was when Beyond was doing that test I was actually listening to his road trip while I was doing my long distance driving and at one point, he I think he got to 38 degrees and the car was still charging around about 40 kilowatts. And my car was at 38 degrees and I was charging at 30 kilowatts. So th that's a big difference between what he was ch when he was charging at the time and what I was getting. I had a lot of people asking me to find, to see if I could find out what's happening for upgrades. So I had, I called up, Nissan customer care the MD that was dealing with my case last year and his response was there was no update that he knew of but he would go and find out for me so that was on Wednesday and it's Friday today and uh, I had a message from QPR fan on one of my YouTube videos asking me well telling me that he emailed Nissan Customer Care UK to find out what's been happening and the response was Many thanks for contacting Nissan Customer Service regarding your Nissan. A technician team has now responded to your query and we thank you for your patience. There has not been any software update on the order to rectify the rapid kit concerns. We can advise you are welcome to check with your local Nissan dealer to confirm the vehicle has the most up-to-date software. However, Nissan has not released any new software. So that was the response he got. Before contacting Nissan Customer Care myself, I thought I'll check speakev.com forum to see if there's anything, see if anyone else has any other results. And what is interesting was a Mr. Smith, he had the same response as the first gentleman, QPR fan. Uh, but what he did was he followed it up, asking them to take it up to Nissan Europe. And this was the response that he got from Nissan Ireland. And this is in January 11th, 11.46 GMT. Dear Mr. Smith, please accept our apology for the delay in the reply of your email. Very nice. We have been investigating the matter further with Nissan Europe and have just been advised that there is a software update now available for the ZE1 Nissan Leaf. We will advise your Nissan dealer accordingly of this update and will contact you directly to make arrangements for the software in the leaf to be updated. We hope the above information meets your approval, assuring you of our best intentions at all times. Yours sincerely, Nissan Ireland After Sales Team. Well, that was a lovely email. So that actually gives us a little bit of hope here in the UK and hopefully in the rest of the world that there is a software update coming. So at this point, I decided to call Nissan Customer Care back and see if the MD had any information or any updates. And at this point, he said he's not contacted me back because there is no update currently, but it doesn't mean there isn't any. I have a case open for me, and he's the minute he finds out, he's going to contact me and let me know if there is an update. So with this information, I'm really hopeful that we're going to get some updates on the firmware for the Nissan Leaf 40 at some point. And I suspect the way they're going to roll it out is when you take your car in for a service, they'll plug the car into uh, the diagnostics tool and then check for a firmware update. And then if there is one, it'll 
flash your car and update the firmware. That makes the most sense of why they're keeping it kind of quiet at the moment without you know, without the mad rush of people wanting the firmware update. Uh, I'm in no rush myself, so, you know, when, when come February the 15th, when I take my car in for a service and it gets an update, that'll be great. If, if I get a response next week saying there is a firmware update and I can go and get my car flash, I will. So that's the latest news on Nissan RapidGate firmware update for the Nissan Leaf 40. So I'd like to say thanks for watching and if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.